what's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video we will see how to transfer data from a text file to our database using SSIS okay so let's get started go to this file go to new new project select the syndication service project and give a name to your project let us say lesson 2 click on this ok So it is ready. Now what we are doing, we are transferring the data from file to our database. So this is a data flow task. So select this and you can give any name to this. Oh, let us keep it as it is. Now in there are two sections in this. Okay, one is control flow and second is data flow. So control flow is for your flow of execution of events. So it, so it tells what event is going to happen. Okay. So all these events are all these tasks are here. Task we are doing is is categorized here. Okay. In this screen, and all the data flow which is going to take place that that is going to be in this data flow. Okay. Now what we need we need a connection to the file and one connection to the database all right so let us see first of all we need a source so the, our source is a file which is a flat file select this okay so double click on this so it is asking for a connection manager let us create a new connection manager okay now we need to give some name let us keep it as it is okay then we need to specify the file okay let's go to the here go to desktop data.txt okay so we have this file on the desktop first of all uh, let us see the columns okay so this is the column it has names and the first column or uh, the first row is for names okay uh, it is it is the head head header header of that column all right so we are done with this connection okay let me see, show you what all data is there in this data.txt okay this much data is there now we need to copy this data to our database so for that we need a destination so destination is what it is our database OLEDB destination okay so these two are arrows signifies the success and failure okay <clears throat> if it is successfully uh, getting the data then this arrow will or this it will go to go to uh, this OLEDB destination okay else it will follow the red red path which we are not going to give it anyways so not, let us go to this OLEDB destination and double click on this now it is asking for a OLEDB connection manager which we don't have so click on this next and okay okay so this is uh, the database or uh, else I, I will show you how to create it. Okay. Delete this. Click on new. Type in the server name. Server name is slash SQL. Sorry. Okay, so this is our server name. Alright, let us select this database AQ. That's it. Click on this. Okay. Now we need to give specify the table name. Okay. The table name is this, which we created in the previous video. All right. So click on OK. Now we are all set. 
let us go to this control flow <coughs> and press F5. There is some problem. Let us see what it is. Oh, I need to see the mapping. Okay. Okay, first of all, we need to truncate that. You can also create a SQL statement before this. So let us execute this. It has successfully executed our task. It has copied the data from file to database. Let us see if it is really there. So there we go. So this is it. Thanks for watching guys. And if you got something from this video, do click on the like button, share this video and comment if you want. Okay, thank you.